Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube Tech Guy. Hey guys, so today's episode of Check Out the Tech, we're gonna show you how to overclock the Galaxy S22 Ultra that just came out. Now, we'll show you step-by-step -step on how to do it, but we'll also show you the difference between benchmark scores of out-of-the-box performance to after we overclock it performance. So let's get started. So this is how to overclock it and make it faster than it is out of the box. First, you're gonna hit these little three dots up here, click edit buttons, and then we're going to bring processing speed down here and click done, and then you're gonna hold down processing speed. From here, out of the box, it comes with optimized, but you can actually change it to maximum right here. So when you change this, it's going to drain your battery life more, but that is what we love about overclocking, that we are going to use it just as fast as it can possibly be. And let's go ahead and see if there's a difference in the benchmark results because of this. All right, so let's go over the differences out of the box versus overclock. On the 3D Mark test, this measures your GPU. We had 9484 before and 9737 after. This is pretty cool, just the fact that we see that bump up in GPU is a really nice bump up to have if, again, you are playing more demanding games. And then over in the CPU department, we did see a nice bump up too as well. We went from 1178 in single core to 1252. And then in multi-core, we went from 3293 to 3432. So a nice bump up overall. And this was really good because honestly, the regular scores were closer to the Snapdragon 888 and not too much of a rise in that. But this one, you could definitely see the newer Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 CPU doing a lot better off. But when it came to the overall performance of the phone and how it could handle everything in every kind of test, we really saw Antutu give us the best overall difference, going from 800 and 18,000 score to 902,000 score. So that was a real nice bump up. Now, the one thing I will say, and again, you can play it back, I just sped it up for you, but I left it there. I don't know what happened, why it got stuck in landscape instead of portrait, but I will say the one thing I found kind of odd with the Antutu benchmark is that we did get a decrease in the CPU somehow when testing it, which was a little weird. I don't understand that, but we saw a decrease in it. Again, I didn't. Ha I don't have any special coolant under here or anything like that. It just got colder for some reason. I have no idea why that happened, but again, the score 
is definitely better than before. No idea why. And I will say that last time it did get 5% lower on battery life and this time only 2%. So I'm kind of curious to understand why that is. Is it also more efficient at this rate? It shouldn't be. It should drain the battery even more because it should be burning off more. Not sure if that's something to do with how N22 runs its stuff or maybe it cools down the GPU and CPU when memory and UX are performing and that's when it dropped down. As we could see the first half, it was about the same temperature and then it dropped down otherwise. Again, not exactly sure why that happened as it should drain more battery life, but an interesting finding nonetheless. So let me know, are you going to run your S22 Ultra normal out of the box or overclocked? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you wanna find out how to save five hours of battery life on this phone, make sure to check out the links in the description. Thank you as always so much for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy.